right here, okay? Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Good, loose. Breathe out. Oh, I think you got it. <laughs> yeah. Now let's have you stand up and let's try it again. See how that feels. Yep. I felt it as I was getting up. Oh yeah. Much better. Better? Oh yeah. Cool. So um, I was looking at your chart and I saw that you're having some neck stiffness, a little bit of neck pain, mm -hmm. and you're feeling like just a little bit compressed. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so tell me about everything. Uh, let's see here. The neck pain is because, well, probably because I tend to crack my neck myself, and every time I go this way, it's fine. Like, it feels relatively flexible, but then I go this way, and there's, like, a pinch mm. right back here that I feel, and it's not as flexible. And um, Lower left back has been a problem for years now. Um, kind of messed it up. Uh, sexual activity on the ground. Okay. Ever since then, it, my lower back has just not been the same. Yeah. Uh, and then I do powerlifting, so a couple times, almost like threw my lower lower back out. Um, and you know, there's a lot of weight on your back, and so I yeah. think, like, sometimes it just feels like after you're done, you're like, oh, yeah, I can kind of feel a little bit. And one of those times was. Uh, doing uh, heavy overhead presses sometimes you have to kind of like really bend back arch and and, and like it, it it feels like my spine is just like crunching okay. on each other and i'm like oh, that's obviously not good yeah it doesn't feel great right yeah. okay um how long ago was the last time that you had one of those tweaks while you were lifting it's been a little bit but it's one of those things of like i can like today's one of those days where i can feel my lower back a little my lower left back a little more than usual yeah um there's like always that awareness there that something yeah. is like not quite right right okay right. that low back pain on the left is it like dull and achy is it sharp and stabbing mm, probably more dull and achy uh, yeah yeah dull, dull achy, achy tight yeah okay do you ever get any tingling or anything into your legs or shooting pains into your legs no. okay none of that in your arms either right i used to but it was like from here all the way through my elbow and like into like the palm my mm. hand um but it's not as bad i know that like if i do that i can feel a little bit of pulling here but, yeah um it's nowhere near as bad as it once was yeah um, are you having a tingling currently mm -hmm. no how long has it been since it was real bad that i want to say it's been about six months okay. six months to a year did you have a lot of neck pain when that was going on, or was it just the arm? Uh, I'm going to say it was just the arm. Just the arm. Just the arm. Okay. Um, and, like, completely unrelated to this one, this one had, like, an interior dull strain kind of thing happen, and uh, the first time I went to out in Frisco, they, helped, they actually helped me out a lot. Uh, did dry needling. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> almost instant, like, instantly the next day. Just didn't Felt feel, better. Yeah, didn't feel the strain at all. I was like, oh. Good. Okay. So yeah, so you've been to the chiropractor before. You find that like getting adjusted usually helps. Mm, yeah. Cool. Okay. Especially, especially with my neck. Yeah. Well, let's see what's going on uh, in terms of just how everything's moving and what we need to do for you. And then we'll kind of go forward, get you adjusted and go from there. Let's just start by seeing how well you move. So let's have you sit up nice and tall for me. And you're going to bring your chin down to your chest as far as you can. Okay. And then look back towards the ceiling as far as you can. Okay, pretty good. Come back to the center. You're going to tilt your head to the left as far as you can, and then to the right. Okay, so not quite as far to the right. And then look over your left shoulder as far as you can. Good, and then look over your right. Okay, so that's moving all right there. So it may have to do with the way that that joint is gliding in your neck, where you're getting that pinching sensation. But we'll check that out. And then let's have you stand right here and face towards the door, and reach down touch your toes as far as you can. Does that give you any of the pain in the low back? Uh, no. Not really? Okay. And then come on back up, bend backwards as far as you can. Yeah. Does that give you some of it? Yeah. Okay. And then face towards me. You're going to bend to the left. Does that give you some? Mm. A little, but not too much. Not that, crazy. But like bending back definitely does. 
this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's have you go face down on the table. Your face will go right here where the paper is, and then there's a little handle that you can rest your wrists on. Perfect. Everything comfortable for you? Yep. Good. So, do you have pain here? Mm, a little. Uh, I would say further left. Okay. So it's a little bit more out. What about if I go right here? No. Okay. But if we come up in here? Mm-mm. Not really. But as we come out, what about right here? A little bit more. A little bit more. Does that feel the same as your pain? Uh, or a little close. Close. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about if we come in here? Yeah, that's close. Yeah, that's close. That feels similar. So what I think of um, the stretch of like, you know, the stretch that you can do that. Mm -hmm. I can always feel like I can get close to popping it. Getting some relief, but, but not I, quite. But if, yeah, if I had like more force or something yeah. of the sort, I could probably get it. Okay. I think that's the best way to explain it. Yeah. So your low back does feel a little tight, and we've got a little bit of tension here in the pelvis. Right here. Yeah. Okay. And then let's have you lay on your back and we'll feel your neck. Yeah. So this right side, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Through there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I definitely think we can help you. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We'll start with your neck and then we'll kind of go from there. Did you have any questions for me about anything before we get started? I don't think so. Yeah. You're a chiropractic veteran, right? So, <laughs> okay, cool. So we'll come in here. I'm going to turn you. Good. And we're going to go right here. Okay. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Good? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, we're going to come over to the other side. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh, it. even though I've gone in chiropractors, it still feels weird every yeah. time. Every time. You know, it's sometimes patients like just never get used to it. I have patients that still scream out and are surprised every time. Let's have you take a deep breath in, exhale. Good, nice decompression there. Okay, now let's have you go face down. All right, we're gonna come in right here. Good, just let that head be nice and relaxed. I'll do all the motion for you, okay? Good. All right, here. Good. Awesome. Okay, a little bit stiffer there, huh? Mm -hmm. Then, deep breath in, out, okay, well, let's do some of these from on your back. So let's have you lay face up again, and we'll have you scoot down on the table a little more, right there, okay. So, cross your arms here. Breathe in, 
out. Okay, let it all be loose. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's more like it, yep, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> A little lower. Good. Breathe out. Okay. Now, let's have you roll on your side. You're gonna face me over here. Perfect. Okay, bottom leg straight, top leg bent. Good. Let's bring that bottom hip forward a little bit. There you go. Okay. So this uh, adjustment is kind of like you were talking about. We're gonna put you in that kind of similar stretch position mm -hmm. and we're gonna give you a little push, all right? so. All you gotta do is keep your belly loose, okay? Cause you're a big guy. If you tighten up your stomach, I'm not gonna win, right. okay? So nice and relaxed. I'm gonna put my leg right up here on your leg. And we're gonna give you a little push. So right here, good, loose, breathe out. Oh, I think you got it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, huh? Okay, let's yeah, go over to the other I side. Think, I don't think anybody's gotten that too, so. You know, it can be difficult, especially on um, big guys like you, strong guys. It's all about getting the right amount of tension there. So roll over towards me, good. Let's get that bottom hip to come forward a little bit. There we go. And then let's tuck the shoulder back a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Be a little bit picky with you. Okay. So same type of thing. We're gonna go here, here, good. Okay, belly loose. Good. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and we'll have you come ha uh, stand right here again like we did before. And you're gonna reach down, touch your toes, you'll face that way. Now, how's that feel? Better. I do feel something here. On the right side? Yeah. Okay, let's have you um, extend back. Oh yeah. Much better. Oh yeah. And then face towards me, do your little side bends again, see how that feels. Okay. Uh, yeah, that right side currently. A little bit there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll come back in and clean that up. Let's have you go face down again. Still got a little bit right here. Or is this where you're feeling it? Uh, or more so? Show me where you felt it. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Let's have you lay on your side one more time. You're gonna face this way. Let's see if we can get some movement in this pelvis. So similar type of setup, but it's gonna be slightly different this time. Like this, okay. Okay, so nice and easy. Good. Let that belly be loose. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that sacrum, which is that bone between both your hip bones. Uh -huh. It's your little tailbone. It looks like a little triangle. You can see it right there, right? Yeah. And uh, we just got some motion in there. Now let's have you stand up and let's try it again. See how that feels. Yep. I felt it as I was getting up. Better? Uh, cool. Are and, there any stretches that you recommend as well? Like um, that? So that stretch that you were doing is a good one. Pretty much with stretching, anything that you like, anything that feels good to you, um, you can kind of make them more dynamic as a warm up. Have you seen where you lay on your back and you rock your legs to either side? Yeah. That's a good one as a warm up. Um, but really it's, it's pretty personal. So whatever is, uh, feels good to you in terms of stretching cool. is good. Um, especially before your workouts, you kind of want to just find something that works for you yeah. because you don't want to get, you know, super stretched out and super loose right before you go do a big deadlift or something right. like that. So right. and let's have you have a seat again and let's try taking a look at that neck motion. So go ahead, bring your chin down to your chest as far as you can. Good. Look up to the ceiling. Good. Okay. And then let's tilt you to the left as far as you can and then to the right. And now how's that feel? 
a little better. Uh, not as much pinching, just a little bit of pinching, but yeah, it's it, it feels far better. Okay. And let's have you look over the left shoulder, and then look over the right. And how's that feel right there? Good. Better. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll come back and we'll kind of help clean up the rest of that as we go from visit to visit. Yeah. Um, but for today, yeah, well, how do you think of your experience here? It's good. Um, definitely a lot more relief in the lower back. It, it helped a lot. Yeah, we did a great job with you today. Got everything moving for you. And um, so we'll just continue that each time that you come in. We'll continue getting a little bit better motion, a little bit better release until we have this cleaned up for you. Sweet. Sound good? Yeah. Cool.